All right, this is Lucky Links. I have one more short video here that I'm going to. This can use. I'm using uh, my Lucky Links fortune cards. Um, this is a Lenormand deck, but you can you can do this with anything. Um, this is about the attitude that you take when you're reading and the perspective from which you read from, changing the kind of outcome. Now, I've done several videos on changing your fate. doing an alternative set of cards to show what an alternative outcome could be. Is the future fixed? I talk about that all the time. Here's the thing. Let's say uh, someone's got a question about their home life or security, right? Let's say, if you looked at my last video, I talked about laying down a card as a house, okay? So let's say in the house of security, that would be the house and uh, the friends. So it would be a friend in the house or say, let's say um, loyalty and or longevity in the relation to uh, home and security. Okay. Um, now I also think the anchor deals with security. Um, but for the sake of this argument, let's say, okay, someone's concerned about, the, you know, whether or not they'll be able to stay in this house or, or their security. We've got the ship and we've got the rider. In the middle, and in the third position, we've got the clouds, and we've got the stork, okay? So let's say someone's looking at this, and they're saying, um, what's my outcome going to be? Am I going to be able to stay in this house? Well, depending upon which way you read this, could determine a completely different outcome for a person. Do you read it as fate, or do you read it as advice? If you read it as fate, it could be longevity, and or the security of your home changes very quickly, which causes a disruption and bad thoughts in your mind as you have to move, which would be the card of movement. We read it as fate. Looks like the person's gonna have to move from this place. What if you shift your perspective and you take it as advice? You can maintain your longevity and security if you get out there and are clever in how you maneuver fate and opportunities in your, in your behavior and, and hustle and take a mindset that you're going to stay put where you want to stay. Those are two different opportunities and then let's say we throw another one and it's health in the key. Okay, so I would say healthy attitude would be the key maybe because we're talking about the mind here, and those two might be connected, okay? So, do you read it as an outcome, or do you read it as advice? And what happens if you read something as advice versus outcome? Let's try one more. Let's say someone's got a relationship. Is this relationship gonna work out? Okay, now I'm gonna use this method that I had in the last video, where I talked about Lunar Man and throwing down a card to represent a house first, and then what card falls in that house. So someone's got a relationship question. They just say, tell me about my relationship. Do you see anything about my relationship? What do you feel about my relationship? All right. So you throw the first one down. Okay. Happiness and joy. That would be in the house of happiness and joy. Social and public. In the middle. Fate and or things not so great. Strength. Obstacle with a woman. All right, so this person asks you about his relationships, and it's like, okay, it was very social uh, in the house of um, uh, happiness. Uh, things seemed very social and very public. You were very public. You came out about this relationship, very public, very social about this relationship. Fate, okay, you're trying to strengthen this relationship right now. You've come to a position where you're trying to strengthen it and you're you're probably because it's the cross it tells me that this is something the person does again and again so you're probably in a position right now where you're trying to strengthen it this is the part in relationships where you usually fall down because you're trying to strengthen it obstacle a woman An obstacle with a woman so you were very happy you're trying to strengthen this but it looks like there's a big obstacle coming your way it's one way to read it what if you read it as advice Okay, you are very optimistic and hopeful about this, perhaps exceedingly so. Perhaps this is the time to focus on 
concentrating, strengthening the relationship between the two of you. Don't be asking the cards. Be speaking to your girlfriend. Be doing what it is, strengthening what it is that you guys need to strengthen. At that point, you guys may find and decide together that you want to overcome any obstacles. At that point, you will have strengthened your relationship and you will be in a much better footing than you would if you were just waiting and hoping to see what the outcome would be. In other words, do you want to take an approach when you're reading that this is giving you advice and be active about your future or do you want to be passive about it? Those who sit around waiting for the future to happen them and wait for the cards to tell them what's going to happen and sit there waiting are rarely disappointed. Those who take a more active approach find that the true nature of divination is about empowering to live your life, not to sit there and be passive about it and wait for your life to happen to you. I'm Lucky Lynx. If you want to schedule a reading, conjurehope at gmail.com or text me 779-302-8009 or call me. I do them in person by a chat. Um, and if you have any questions about any of this, go ahead, feel free, put it in the thing below. I'll do my best to answer. As always, you have a wonderful day and I'm wishing you success in all that you do.